Hi guys. Um, yesterday I was playing a widow with those E major, E major chords. This time is a blues. It's not E major. It's E seven dominant chord like this. It's another uh, uh, type of thing and. Here's the deal, it's about the bebop dominant scale. And a little mixed up. I play that a lot because I like it, it's kind of musically, uh, it's not ragada 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 ragada, it's just jumping all over the place and the good thing about this you can play it in every chord if i play this blues with some blues changes uh, which are not the simplest one i can play in e because I'm moving and, uh, from E to A and then to C sharp and uh, F sharp, uh, B7 and you can play this riff in every chord if you know this one is E7, this one is A7 and every time this one is C sharp I think it's a good idea to have some puzzles, uh, puzzles, pieces to put it in the solo because if you want to play some um, interesting uh, licks you just have to be prepared, you just have to learn all those by heart. That's my opinion because if I have 20 licks maybe nobody would uh, uh, rec would see I'm repeating all those. If I have three ones, everybody can hear it that I'm repeating myself too much. Yeah, uh, just about the sound. Right now I'm playing on my trusty Marshall 1974X and Mucho Busto. Mucho Busto is kind of Durham Electronics is kind of tube screamer sounding uh, then I have Rocket Engineering 45. Okay, I will try to play a slow blues using this lick I, I showed you just right now with this sound.
kind of um, funky stuff. Combine it in every chord, and your solos will be very, very interesting soon without checking out all those rocket science things. Thank you.